This is the Robert August Wingnut, 9-4. Uh, Robert was here, he comes here every Memorial Day weekend for the Endless Summer Weekend. And uh, in talking about this shape, you know, what was relayed to us is that Wingnut, he doesn't like to have a lot of nose area, so you can see the nose is a little bit, it's a little bit more pulled in on this board, um, although it doesn't really seem to hold him back from getting up there on the nose and wrapping five or wrapping 10 around the nose. What that reduced nose area does help you with is uh, punching out through the waves when you're paddling out. There's a lot less area that you're putting through the white water as well on the later drops. It's not gonna hook up and, and cartwheel you um, like a wider nose would. The, uh, the other thing that you'll see in this board, it does have a wider square tail. And again, what that does is the when the white water or the lip is landing on the back of the board when your nose rotting, the bigger the tail area, uh, the squarer the tail, the more water is going to land on that and keep you afloat when you're up on the nose. So that's why you see a lot of those nose riders having a wider uh, square tail. Uh, this is basically wing nuts all around board, the 9-4. This is what he uses as his go-to board and also as his you know, really wide range of use single travel board when he can only bring one board with him on a trip. The 9-4 uh, the is available in uh, polyester construction. So it's a polyurethane foam core with polyester resin. Uh, gives you that familiar feel that you're used to in longboarding. A little bit of extra weight for glide, which is nice. Um, also, if it's uh, choppy or kind of windblown and there's a lot of bumps in the way, the, the polyester construction will absorb a lot more of that than something that's a little bit tighter, like an epoxy sandwich. So polyester construction and it's the wing nut, 9-4 nose rider.